Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and in this video, I'm going to share with you the five simple tips which can help you in improving the eyesight or if you'll follow these things, these are healthy for the eyes so you will not have an eye issue for all of your life if you will follow these steps. Very simple steps. These will include some of the exercises, some of the herbs that you can use which are very very effective even if a person is wearing specs do these things and within few months you can feel the effect so let's move forward and try to understand why it's happening the number of people wearing the spectacles it's increasing very fast nowadays why it's happening it is we all know you also know this it's all because of our phone, the video that you're watching right now, it's on your phone. Whole of the day we are checking over all the social sites, everything it's on the phone. See what's happening, just understand, you are always seeing the near objects. So you just do with me right now. When you see the near objects, what happens? You'll feel that your eyes are contracting a bit, right? Now what you do is just look far on the roof just look on the roof a little bit far what's happening now your eyes are expanding what's happening nowadays is we are always looking nearby either in the office either at work either at home television all the things we are focusing on the nearby stuff that's why it's always concentration it's always the contraction of these muscles and these are causing the problem in the kids also so what should be done very simple if you want to improve your eyesight you should the first exercise that you should do is just look far far at a big object means for example you are walking just have a look on the sky and you will feel that now your eyes are much relaxed. They are not in tension. They are just relaxed. This is an exercise, simple stuff, but it's very, very effective. Just look far. That's the only thing what you have to do. Do it every single day. I will say you can do it after 40 minutes, 50 minutes or a one hour interval. Just have a few seconds or you can say 30 seconds just look the objects far if you're in the office just have a gap and just look far that's all that's all that's enough for your eyes to relax this is my first recommendation that will help you second thing that is very important to do is washing your eyes now how to wash our eyes yes with the cold water in the morning the best thing to be done but it will be more effective it if you will put the water in your mouth why holding the water in your mouth will help let's do it together right now just blow the air in your mouth right we have done this now just blow the air and feel your eyes they are more open like this if i lose the air they are again relaxed more wider open so if you will hold the water in your mouth it will help to expand your eyes and it will be easier for you to clean your eyes. So this is the best thing to be done. Do this as much as time you can do means three to four times in a day you can do it. It will be very beneficial especially in the morning. This has to be done. The third and the most important exercise is just seeing at your finger. Just take your finger and just look at it first. Put it far, just extend your hand. Just look at one particular point at your finger and then bring it near to you. Just concentrate on that. And then just look on the other side or any of the side, not on your finger. Just look for a few seconds and then again. And then just again, same. You have to do this every single day. See, these doesn't seem like very complicated or the stuff that can help, but really these are very simple stuff and they really help. If you don't want to wear specs, you don't want to use the glasses, lenses, you can do these exercises and these will help you. This thing you have to do a bit faster. Like you are saying, then move and then this, looking on the other side, Again, do it two times in a day, 30 seconds in the morning, 30 seconds in the evening, that's enough. 
You don't have to do a lot. These things will also help you. Now the last exercise that I would like you to do if you want good eyesight, it is that when you are in the office, you are working after 40 minutes to 50 minutes, have a gap. You can put an alarm clock so that it reminds you because staring at any of the thing, it's either your notebook, either it's your any copy or any of the book, it will give strain to the eyes, so a gap is needed. So what will happen is this alarm clock will ring and it will give you a reminder. What you have to do is just close your eyes very tightly. Just blink your eyes and just close them and just close them very tightly as much as you can and then slowly, slowly release it and open your eyes. This, what you're doing is you are moving the blood to this area also. When the blood will be moved to this area, then blood contains with it lots of vitamins, minerals, oxygen. So these all things will be supplied to your eyes. It's like the food to your eyes. What happens is when we are saying on a laptop or any of our notebook or reading anything, we forget to blink our eyes. And this creates a big stain to our eyes. So what will happen is this is kind of exercise. It will make the lymph circulation, the blood circulation proper in this area and these things will help you. Now let's come to the herbal point. What herbs to be used? In Ayurveda, the holistic medical science, the best herb to be used is, is trifala. It's my all-time favorite uh, Ayurvedic formula also and yes, it's good for the eyes also. Even there is an oil named as trifala, grat. This you can eat also and you can use to oil your eyes also. What you have to do, you can eat one teaspoon to one tablespoon at night before sleeping. Just do it, drink it, you can drink it with warm water. The oil should be this trifla grath, should be in the liquid form. Drink it, drink the water, warm or hot water after it and after 40-50 minutes you can sleep. So just eating trifla grath also does a good effect on your eyes. Plus it will clean your body. It's another effect. It's good for your skin also. It's another more benefits. See, this is the beauty of alternative treatment that with one use, you don't get the another side effects, but you get more better effects. Means the Trifla Grit can help you with eyes, with hair, with your skin, plus digestive system. So these are the plus that you will get from Trifla Grit. And what else can be done with this Trifla Grit? Once in a week or two times in a week, what you can do is take the small cups. These are used in the yoga practices. If you can't find them, I'll put the link down below of the, all the herbs or all these stuff what I'm talking about. And you can just have a look on the description box or either they are easily available all over the place. So take these cups. Now just warm a bit this Triflagrat so that it becomes uh, liquid. Pour them in these cups and just put it on your eye. Put it on your one eye, it should be clean eye and just open and close your eyes in this grata or this oil. It's not harmful, it's not going to create any problem. If you had any kinds of pathology, then it's better to concern to a doctor which is near to you so that he can give you a good consultation that what's going, the pathology, what's going inside your eye. If it's just an eyesight issue, you don't have any pathology, then Trifla Grath doing this with the Trifla Grath, it's going to help you a lot. How long to do? You can do it five to seven minutes. If you can do it for 10 minutes, also better, but minimum five to seven minutes, do it. Just, you can lay down and just put it on your eye, open your eye, close your eye, move your eyes on the right side, left side, up, down, rotations clockwise, rotations anti-clockwise. These things are the exercises for the eye with this Trifla Grath. It will be very good for your eyebrows, eyelashes, all this stuff also. Do it two to three times in a week. It's also very effective. What you have to do is after this procedure, just take a cotton ball and just remove this uh, oil from your eye and then relax. You don't have to go to the sun after this procedure. Remain in the indoor, better to do it in the evening so that you don't go out or at the night, either a day when you have a rest, 
do it be at home don't go if you have to go go after 45 minutes so in this way do it these things will help these things are much better than any kinds of operations or any kinds of chemical use all the herbal stuff why not to give it a try plus they have lots of more benefits as i've told you it's for digestion for eyebrow for eyelashes these things are very very effective so do them you are beautiful you'll be more beautiful stay happy stay healthy